This is a cherry black knot fungus. It uh, only grows on the prunus genus, and uh, that would include things like choke cherry, black cherry, American wild plum. It's um, uh, going to spread by spores. And so what I will need to do is to cut this off, and I don't want to leave it in the woodland because those spores will spread to other cherries and plums. So when I cut it off, I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to uh, carefully put it in a bag. I'm going to dump that bag again in my bonfire. If you don't have a bonfire, um, you're going to be able to take care of this by putting it in your garbage. I'm going to turn the camera off when I make this cut because I don't want it to drop to the ground. But typically somewhere between three to six inches is where we want to make the cut. And the way that I'll know if I'm safe is if I cut too too close, there will still be dark brown in the center of the pith where I cut the stem. So if that happens, I want to cut again, and I want to get to the point where I have a clean white pith with no brown in it, then I'll know that I've removed all of the fungus and it won't continue to spread. Also, when I'm done with this, I'm probably going to want to get some rubbing alcohol and clean my blades on my scissor because if I go prune a, another cherry tree after I've been, um, if the pruners have been exposed to this, it could very easily spread to another cherry. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this up, get it in my nasty bag, and uh, burn it in the fire pit down the road.